Hey guys, Omni here. We just got a new trailer for No Time to Die, the latest entry with Daniel Craig in the James Bond franchise. This was originally supposed to come out in April. Looking forward to it, but it got pushed back along with everything else, and now it's coming out in November. At least that's the date currently that they seem to be sticking to, and with theaters starting to open out, open up uh, around the country right now, I think it's more likely that it will stick to this landing, uh, but who knows? Things could change between now and then, but... I'm looking forward to this film. I think uh, I love Dan Daniel Craig in this role in general since they rebooted the James Bond franchise with Casino Royale. It's been fantastic. You know, we've had some stumbles like Quantum of Solace and Spectre has its problems, but uh, things like that first Casino Royale and Skyfall were fantastic. And just Daniel Craig in the role itself, I, I really enjoy it. I like this take, this iteration on the character. It's a little deeper. It's a lot more action packed. Uh, it's a, it's got everything that I really look for into this stuff, and I'm really excited to see where this goes from here. I know like he's been trying to get out of this role for so long, um, and I think this is this is supposed to be his last one, if I remember right. It's been so long since we've talked about this movie. I don't remember, uh, but I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be the last Daniel Craig James Bond film. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and check out the trailer. Ooh. Dude, he takes so many beatings in these movies. He just keeps on rolling. His name is Seven. Huh. And what does he want? He's an enemy of Spectre. Me. When her secret finds its way out, it'll be the death of you. You can imagine why I've come back to play. There's a young lady in Santiago I want you to meet. You're late. When you're ready. <laughs> Dude, hell yeah. I met your new double O. She's a disarming young woman. <laughs> I get why you shot him. Yeah, well, everyone tries at least once. James Bond. We both eradicate people. I love Christoph Waltz's voice, man. The world a better place. I just want to be a little tidier. Come on, Bond. Dude. Where the hell are you? Rami Malik, man. Killing it. Do you have a flame on this? Nope. <laughs> ah, Q. Harder to tell the good from bad, villains from heroes these days. What is it? I don't know what this is. He's going to kill millions. Oh, ho, 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 ho. if we don't do this, oh, that's neat. There will be nothing left to save. I don't know. This one's feeling a little more like some classic Bond kind of stuff with the uh, the stakes. We got a lot of different settings too. In cinemas, November. I I thought it looked pretty good. It wasn't as I don't I, I don't even, I don't know. I think at least the scoring for this trailer didn't really have the same energy as the stuff going on in it. But all of the visuals, everything we're seeing in this, all of the lines, it just it's got me hyped up. It's got me ready to see this movie. I want to watch this movie. I wanted to watch it in April. But I understand. I understand. I'm not upset. Don't get me wrong. But I still like to watch movies. Ah, dude, it looks really good. Uh, Daniel Craig killing it. You know, Rami Malek in here as our new villain. Uh, the little, like, zen room he had with that, like, uh, tranquility pool. Uh, I forget what they're actually called. Reflection pool? Reflect? Uh, whatever. Anyway. I I'm curious to see what his 
thing is, like what his drive is, what his motivations are, what his history is. Um, I like the aesthetic of it with the mask, the face, um, and the kind of the delivery, the performance he's going off. And I guess he's somehow not just a threat to James, but a threat to Spectre's organization since Blofeld, uh, Christoph Waltz, is like he's an enemy of both of us. I don't know. Or maybe I was hearing the wrong person t voiceover in that. Maybe they were talking about Christoph and it was Rami. I don't, I don't know. Uh, well, we'll see. Let me know in the comments if you pick that up. Cause I, you know, I could, I'll probably watch this again on my own time, but I wanted to give you guys my raw reaction. I'm hyped up. And, um, I think this will be, I don't know if they'll kill Daniel Craig in this movie. I don't know if they'll kill James off in this film. Um, but I did see that they were, you know, hyping up, you know, Lash uh, Lashana Lynch's character to be our new double O, or at least the new double O in this. I don't know if they're planning on, uh, leading the franchise forward with a new double O agent and kind of getting away from James. Um, I don't know. I'm not too sure what's going to happen with that, but I I'm still curious to see how they close this off because it, from Casino Royale to this movie, there's always been at least some kind of thread throughout them, some kind of connective tissue from the organizations the tips off to Spectre, and now we're still kind of continuing that, and I'm wondering how everything's going to come full circle in this. If it will, it might not. Um, but I, I think it's going to be really interesting to see how they all kind of tie this all together. We got Jeffrey Wright coming back in this. Of course, Ralph Fiennes M coming back into this. Um, Naomi Harris is back as well. Pretty much a lot of, a lot of people are coming back into the thread in this. So I'm, I'm excited to see what they do and close this out. The action looks awesome. We've got some uh, varying locations and set pieces that all look really cool. And deliver that action, deliver that dip, deliver that energy. I can't wait. What do you guys think? What'd you guys think of this trailer? Are you looking forward to this movie? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. We'll carry on the conversation after the video. Thank you all for tuning in. I'll catch you guys next time. Take care, everybody.